The question that we have not answered, which you should be wondering about, is whether or not the linearization that we've been doing really gives an accurate picture of the local dynamics. The good news is there's a very precise answer. The short version is, as long as none of the eigenvalues of the linearization at the equilibrium is neutral or degenerate, then you can trust that linearization locally to be accurate. Now, the long answer requires explaining what I mean by trust and accurate. It's quite a bit longer. Let's start with some definitions. First of all, we say that an equilibrium in a dynamical system is hyperbolic if none of the eigenvalues of the linearization at that equilibrium is neutral. So that means that all the eigenvalues have to be either stable or unstable, or some mix of stable and unstable, doesn't matter. Now this terminology, it's a little unfamiliar. The reason these are called hyperbolic stems from some deeper ideas in hyperbolic geometry. Don't worry about that right now, just get used to calling an equilibrium hyperbolic if there are no degenerate eigenvalues. The second definition that we need is one that we introduced back at the end of chapter 5, volume 1. We say that two dynamical systems are topologically conjugate if they have the same dynamics. What does that mean? It means if there is a homeomorphism between the two systems which preserves orbits. Now that needs a little unpacking. So let's take a bit of a detour or a side. For the sake of accuracy, I'm going to use language that's a little more mathematically intricate. Don't worry if not all of these terms make perfect sense to you at this point in time. Let's say that X and Y are topological spaces with dynamics on them. They can both be continuous time, they can both be discrete time, doesn't matter. A topological conjugacy is a homeomorphism between these spaces, that is a continuous bijection with continuous inverse, such that it preserves orbits, it takes orbits to orbits. What I mean by that is if we take our space X and we look at the dynamics of going forward one time step, either continuous time or in discrete time one hop forward, then looking at what happens with the space Y, where we do the same thing. We go forward one time step and we look at that mapping. Then if we use that topological conjugacy to map from X to Y, the resulting square of mappings is commutative. That means you can go forward in X along the dynamics and then jump down to Y, or you can jump down to Y and then go forward one time step in the dynamics and you get to the same place, no matter where you start. If you have that type of homeomorphism, that topological conjugacy, then we say that these two spaces have topologically conjugate dynamics. We consider those the same. Now, with all of those definitions out of the way, we can finally get to the result, the big result. The theorem, the hartmann grobman theorem, says the following. If A is a hyperbolic equilibrium, then the linearized dynamic set A is topologically conjugate to the full nonlinear dynamics of your original system on some neighborhood of A. And what that means is that locally, the linearized dynamics matches the nonlinear dynamics. Now, this is a very important result. It's not an easy result to prove. It relies on some nonlinear coordinate changes. You're probably going to be using the implicit function theorem in there. It's a serious result that gets deep into the analysis. There are a lot of interesting side issues here about the degree of smoothness that your topological conjugacy can have. We're not going to go into that. What we are going to do is finish this long story with a few morals. First of all, hyperbolicity is the key. That's what makes linearization really work. Because of that, you should be aware anytime you see a degenerate equilibrium, also, you have to be careful of centers. 
What are the eigenvalues in a center? Uh-oh, they're neutral. That means that the hartmann grobman theorem does not cover that. When you see a center, it is not guaranteed to exist in the full nonlinear dynamical system. The third moral is that hartmann grobman gives you local equivalence only. Don't forget that one, and you'll be fine. hartmann grobman is one of the key tools in nonlinear dynamical systems. Make sure you understand how to use it.